Good morning, everybody. Yes, it is morning. I am standing, filming myself outside. December 21st, 2020 at 6.35 a.m. And I am, you can see, well, behind me, what you're looking at is the eastern horizon. And there is not a breath, not a spot of sunshine coming up yet. It is now 7.35 a.m. And you can start to see the very faint beginnings on the eastern skyline of the sun willing to come up. Well guys, it's 8.37. This is supposed to be our sunrise time for today. And uh, as you can see, that's not going to be happening for us. We kind of have a suggestion of it over there, but the clouds are keeping it from going to be much of it. We've had some spectacular sunrises here uh, recently and sunsets. And uh, as you can see, this being our shortest day and longest night, um, and this uh, winter storm that's coming in is going to make our day even darker. One eye Jack. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> I'm doing this video today because, well, it's a really special day. It's winter solstice. I just want to talk a little bit about not how not everybody can manage very well in the dark of the year. So we aren't as dark here. I was reading this morning, there's a place in Alaska that doesn't get any sun during the day. Sorry, I don't think I could do it. <laughs> Those are some strong people there. But then, alternatively, they also get almost uh, no nighttime in the summer. So, I have been to Alaska in the summertime, and I can confirm that wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and the sun hasn't gone to bed yet. It's pretty cool. Anyway, what are some things that uh, we can do to get through these possible winter blues? One of the things I do is think of uh, what I'm thankful for. So today, just off the top of my head, I can think of so many things to be thankful for. And one of them is this greenhouse that Glenn made for us last year. He started it just after Christmas last year. And uh, it was so lovely to have. And I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful that I had such a wonderful garden this year that gave us over 1,800 pounds of food between that and the chickens and turkeys we raised. That's a lot of food. So I was really thankful. And in the fall, I paid that forward. I gave friends and family some of our garden, garden produce and uh, they were so thankful for the fresh vegetables that, uh, that they could eat with, and prepare for their family pay it for doesn't necessarily mean that you have to spend any money. I like to focus on the small things in life. When you focus on the small things, you don't get overwhelmed by the big things. Okay, take two on being thankful. The little thing that I'm thankful for right now. So I'm thankful for warmer clothes because I went in, grabbed my toque, my jacket, and uh, my 75 below boots and my gloves. Because literally, I came outside, well, I had my chore boots on, but they're not really warm. So, I wasn't sure I was going to be out here that long. So anyway, I'm super thankful for the warm clothes. Glenn. Yeah. What's one thing that you do to combat the winter blues? Um. Um. Do, 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 do. You dream of Cuba. I dream of Cuba. <laughs> okay, it turns out this is going to be a truck talk today. Because this is where I am. We're going to be giving the cows some food today. 
I know in Glenn's video we put out a couple days ago about when to start feeding the cattle for the winter. He thought maybe Tuesday, the 22nd, but today is Monday. So I guess we're going to do it today because we want to move them closer up to uh, the house and the barn and that area there. They're still not coming right up here, but we want them closer up around a windbreak and uh, so we can keep an eye on them in case the storm gets bad. So where am I going with this next? Well, taking care of yourself and your mental health over the winter time. Uh, that's a really big deal. It's important for everybody, I think. Some people, man, you know, the winter time, the sad thing doesn't really bother them that much. And I'm glad they get out and they do stuff or, you know, they maybe some, I used to fake it till I make it. I was like, this doesn't, this doesn't get to me. Winter used to be my favorite time of the year. However, I just love doing stuff in the spring and the summertime so much now that, uh, yeah, I get a little depressed and sad and wanting of the sunshine and the flowers and the plants growing outside. So, speaking of plants, we can eat healthy over the winter time. That's an awesome thing to do. Fill your body with nutritious food. The other thing you can do is get outside. Well, there isn't a lot of sunshine this time of year. Um, by the end of December, so in 10 days from today, we're gonna have an extra seven minutes of daylight at the end of the day. So get outside, get some of that vitamin D. Another thing you can do to combat winter sadness is to get some exercise. So in the case here on the Cow Emporium, not only do we get exercise, especially this time of year, but we get fresh air. Woo. I always knew there'd come a time when he'd run away from me. Glenn, come back. <laughs>